CDC now says you should wear mask indoors if you live in a county that's mm -hmm. red or orange on the map. But CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is digging deeper to, to explain to us why you should not let your guard up uh, even if your county is blue or yellow. This CDC map shows every county in the state is bordered by one that's either orange or red. And with the Delta variant spreading fast, that's a problem. The virus doesn't know what the borders of counties are. The colors on this map hinge on two things, the number of new cases per capita and the percent positive. Because what they're trying to capture is just really, you know, how many people are infected, um, how likely are you to run into someone who is currently infectious? If your case count was between 50 and 100 last week, or your percent positive between 8 and 10 percent, your color is orange. More than 100 cases or a percent positive over 10 percent, and that puts you in the red. Here in our state, we have 41 red counties. In 23 of them, more than half of those, both the cases and percent positive, were too high. That includes five around here, from Cumberland to Johnston. I've been looking at the state and monitoring kind of how things are changing, and it's changing fast. So fast that the alert map sent by DHHS last week is already outdated. So go with the most up-to-date information you can, and right now that's the CEC maps. That speed is why even if your county is yellow or blue, you shouldn't let your guard down. We don't all just stay in our county every day. So what numbers went into your county's color? I've put those together for every county in the state, and you can find them in my story online. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary. All right, Wes joining us now. We're tracking some storms in the area. Yeah, severe weather.